Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase the program I have created in Java, which is a wave function collapse visualizer built with JavaFX. And just quickly, I want to showcase the project. We can then go through that concept and some of the code, and then we will revisit the visualization. But in general, when having some tiles, in this case, we have a bunch of tiles, and we can then randomly place them like this, but that's kind of boring. We can then use a wave function collapse function, which then build them like one tile at a time and then build a collapsing tree more or less, which then allow us to have these connected views, which I personally think looks amazing. And I'd love to see how we can generate these randomized, but compared to something random, it's not completely random because we have some rules about how each of these tiles can be placed according to each other. But that is the simple demo. I can do a wave function collapse, which is random every time. I can just do random tiles. And for now, if I reload, it starts black, and I can actually, I can then actually also build my wave function collapse like a few tiles at a time to see how it actually works. How it's slowly building. And we can see how it sometimes puts multiple tiles. If there's no other possible tiles, just fill them in. Otherwise, it's going to take the next few tiles. But let's actually go through the basic concept. So first of all, in resources, we have these five images. So we have a tile, which is like no entrances. Entrance on top, right, left, and on top, right, bottom, and so on. So we have these like five different base tiles. And the rules are then defined for each of these base tiles. Inside, I have a wave function collapse controller with some basic information. And there's actually quite a lot of code in this project. So I will have a link in the description to the GitHub repository, where I would most likely recommend if you want to actually have a decent understanding of how it actually works, you should probably clone the project yourself and run it and actually go through the code. But just general concept, we have some rules. So for each rule, we have defined where are the openings. So for option A, we have Closed, 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 closed. So the rule is zero, 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 zero. Option B, we have open, open, closed, open. So the rule is going to be open, open, closed, open. So matching like the sides of our tiles. We then put them into a map, which then allows later on to access them. And we then have like two parts. We have this JavaFX part, which just simply draws our tiles as we saw on the screen. And we also have a wave function collapse part, which is built completely using Java. So like JavaFX is just used to draw these tiles and draw the program. I'm not going to go too much into that. And we then also have a few wave function collapse setups. We have cell, simply containing a list of options. A Boolean rather not it has been collapsed. And a secure random to allow some randomness to pick which cell to pick if there's multiple possible options. So how it actually works is that when we start having a grid, we're going to have a full grid of tiles. And now it's going to be a list of cells with options. And at first, all the cells have five options. So for now, imagine we have like a bunch of cells here where each cell contained option of all five images. We then run the first process of wave function collapse. A single tile is picked at random. For this tile, we then pick a random image. And we then recalculate the possible options for all the other tiles once again. And for most of the tiles, it's obviously going to be the same. But if you can imagine, we've got four tiles connected to our newly created main tile. We will now have some updated rules. We would then once again pick a random tile. Now we would pick a random tile with one of the least possible options. And because we added one tile, every other tile is going to have five options still, but the four tiles connected to them. So we're going to pick one of these tiles at random and one of these tiles now having four options or less, depending on the setup. It will then pick one of these possible options. And we then once again recalculate all the possible options for each tile. Pick another tile 
next to one of our current tiles with the least possible options, and so on. And we can see here how we can slowly then build this wave function collapse. And it's then just being run for every tile. I hope that kind of makes sense, but if we click on to go through the code, then you have the grid. And for the grid, we then simply have this collapse function, which first get a cell by heuristic. And the heuristic in this case is the amount of possible options. So by heuristic, then simply just get a, or copy a list of all possible cells, then remove any cell from this list that has already been collapsed. And if it's empty, we're going to return because then it's over, then we're done filling our cells. Otherwise, we're going to sort them by order. So we're going to get the cells with the lowest heuristic. So with the fewest amount of options first, then just going to pick the first one, which is going to be one of the random ones. We're then going to remove any cell that's not the same, have the same heuristic as our lowest possible heuristic. We're then going to end up with a list of like the four. If we can imagine before, we would have a list of the four possible tiles and we're then just going to pick one of these tiles at random and return it to our collapse function. We now have a cell. We're then going to define that if the cell is still here, so if nothing went wrong, we're going to collapse it, meaning we will pick a random picture. And we're then going to go through a simple double for loop, simply going through all the tiles and then for each tile looking at which rules need to be changed based on the tile top of me, or up, down, right and left. But once again, I think the best way to learn stuff like this is simply to look at the code yourself and run the program. So as mentioned, there will be a GitHub link in the description. But now we know the basic concept. We pick a tile, recalculate all possible options for the other tiles, and then pick another tile with the least possible options. It's going to be one of the tiles next to the current tile because it's going to lower the options when we input some information. And we're then slowly simply going to be able to build our wave function, tree or map or grid or whatever you want to call it. And I actually think this is just a very, very pretty way of visualizing data, or not even data, but some kind of random generated maze, more or less. And for now, this is also a relatively simple version because we only have like two connections. So if something's closed, it needs to be connected to closed. And if it's open, it needs to connect to something that's open. We could also add like a multiple layers of having something that's A connected to A, B connected to B, B connected to C, and then having tiles that has like one side being A, one side being C, and so on. So if you enjoyed this quick demonstration of wave function collapse in Java visualized with JavaFX, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.